Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'm going to select three cards that I have picked out. I'm going to give you a general reading, but before we get started, I would like for you to take a moment and think about something in your life that you may be seeking additional insight. Um, it could be anything or just allow your mind to relax. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and her message is Stop Playing the Victim. The next card I have oh we're pulling in some strong Chalby energy who represents our third chakra and her message is unleash your confidence and the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties basically what I'm picking up from this reading is that as a child growing up you might have been the person who made all the sacrifices you you know the teacher's helper you helped your mom you did as you were told you didn't want to cause any problems you didn't want to be just one more problem with your parents so you kind of grew up like you grew up with this idea of always looking out for everybody else but when we're talking about the highest good for all parties child we're talking about you as well and I think that this these three cards are saying you matter you matter you your feelings your emotions you don't have to always sacrifice to make sure everybody else is okay you need to start thinking about as to whether or not you are okay um, so when you grow up in a home where you're the one who's always sacrificing always giving what happens is you become an adult who you know always working overload or always doing sorry doing overtime you're the person who um, always get the worst shift you do everything because one you want people to like you because as you were growing up you were only liked because of what you were able to provide for others you were only liked when you were doing as you were told when you were giving when you were providing so you grew up to be this adult who became a people pleaser I'm not saying you know you whoever's watching this but so basically when you become a, a people pleaser you don't really you lose the connection with yourself, your dreams, your goals, your hopes, what it is that you really want to accomplish for yourself. So what happens is you're the person who pretty much volunteers for those probably the worst shifts, who take on the responsibility that no one else wants to take on. Um, do the favors that you really didn't want to do but you didn't want to make that person upset or you would think to yourself, well, somebody had to do it. So what end up happening is you do all of the giving and then you see yourself as a victim and you say well I don't understand why somebody else won't you know take this shift I don't understand why other people won't do this or you know take responsibility for their own you know kids or whatever the situation may be but you're playing the victim because you could have said no but if you have spent most of your childhood you know maybe not getting enough affection or being having over critical parents or um, not getting the attention that you needed as a child so that you could you know to build your self-esteem then you become an adult who's always giving pretty much what you've never had for yourself and now you're working on E so you you know you may be a person who's always complaining about leadership or complaining about the boss but you rarely ever go for the management position you never take the leadership role not so basically in order for you to stop playing the victim 
you have to unleash your confidence. And in order to unleash your confidence, you need to work on your third chakra. And so when we work on our third chakra, it's two inches above our navel. This is the part of us that is responsible for our self-belief, our self-worth, our personal power, our self-mastery, our self-image, our self-respect, our self-control, child. So when your third chakra is weak from not getting enough tension um, or receiving too much criticism as a, you know, growing up, then you have to figure out a way to heal it as an adult. If you have stomach problems or you know any type of problems like with your digestive system this is all connected to your third chakra so some things you can do to build your self-esteem is I know this might sound a little crazy but if you hula hoop this is connected to your third chakra because you're you're building the muscles of your stomach dancing doing yoga doing sit-ups anything to move this this center portion of your body um, is activated when you speak up for yourself anytime you exert your willpower or self-control so let's say for example you tell yourself um, I'm not going to have any more cookies until I lose 10 pounds every time you do something like that it improves your self-esteem every time you speak up for yourself it improves your self-esteem it it ignites your third chakra so another thing you can do to work on your third chakra to unleash your confidence is to learn a new skill learning something new setting goals for yourself what you what you want to do is you want to set a goal for yourself that is not too challenging I mean, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, not too challenging because you want to, when you're working on your self-esteem, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. So let's just say, for example, you say, I am going to read a book. Um, and you decide that every day you're going to read five pages. You're By the time you finish that book, you will have improved your self-esteem. Or if you say, okay, every day I'm going to do five sit-ups or I'm going to do five you know whatever it is make sure it's something that is doable and something you can follow through on because when you do this this will actually help you to feel good about yourself feel like you you know feel like you have self mastery you have self control that you can do the things that you that you pro like keeping promises to yourself so this is all about you and you feeling good about yourself to say no so Plan the victim is really about a person who has not, you know, had the, the willpower to say no, you know, to put up with people mistreating you, people disrespecting you. Um, some other things you can do to improve your confidence and work on your third chakra is, you know, placing gemstones such as this is a yellow jasper um, gemstone. This is good for the third chakra. Also, Sept oops, Septarian, this is a really good um, gemstone for your third chakra as well. Any type of yellow gemstone, you also would want to look into some tiger's eye, which is very plentiful and very, very inexpensive. So is Septarian. And then you also could use Sunstone. Here's another gemstone that if you want to put it on your third chakra, and just you know like if you lie down and just set it on your chakra to help to help it heal um, citrine is another gemstone to help you improve your third chakra so when you work on yourself your third chakra basically you are putting yourself in a position to always make your voice heard to freely express yourself and to take on new challenges and activate your goals so you want to. So again, um, some other practical things you can do is dress nice, stand tall, walk fast, um, the way you present yourself, look people in the eye, all the things that our parents told us when we were growing up, and give yourself the attention that you that you the little kid in you is craving. Um, when this chakra is balanced, it allows you to lead. The is it a lot? I'm sorry. When your third chakra is balanced. 
it allows you to lead your life in the direction you want to go and not to follow other people and um, you know it helps you to be who you've always wanted to be so I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.